Hi YouTube pickers and hustlers out there, Fired Up Jim Hammonds here, the Fired Up Picker, and a video that is going to cover a couple different subjects, and I'll do it as quickly as possible. The reason that you're staring at this screen right here on YouTube is because the first thing that I want to cover is to become a student of what you're doing. This here just happens to be Bonafide Hustler, uh, him with a couple other guys. They have a thing called The Green Room on Facebook. It's a paid subscription, uh, private uh, private group that just can you can get tons of information off of but the re I'm not doing an ad for them but the reason for me showing that is that I want you to know that you can go from zero to you know 65 miles an hour really quick in this business if you know absolutely nothing you can learn everything you need to know off of Facebook it doesn't matter what your I'm not Facebook excuse me uh, YouTube and, you know, if you have a car to repair or a refrigerator or a washer dryer, whatever it is, you can learn how to do that yourself. And I swear you'll save a ton of money that you'll be able to put back into picking if this is what you're doing. So these are just some guys that I've hooked up with on YouTube, not personally, but, I, you know, I've been really studying uh, all their different channels, all the different material they put out. Uh, they've all got their own little niches, kind of, and they kind of intertwine a little bit. But this green room is something that they do together. And this is actually the number one. I was just, uh, I kind of started at number seven and went back because uh, I watched seven and uh, seven live. And then I started going back and watching all their previous ones. They've had seven total. This is number one. So anyway, become a student of whatever it is that you're wanting to do. And uh, you will be able to make money doing this. Two things. Uh, two of these guys already have their own products out. One of them is Rake and Profit. Just came out with, I think it's called a, a hundred. Uh, there it is, right there. A hundred. Let me grab it. I actually printed the entire PDF out and made myself a binder. But it's called 101 Killer Clothing Brands, and this thing is incredible, guys. I mean, if you want to sell clothing, if that's something you'd like to do and get into fashion, let me tell you, this book is comprehensive. I mean, he shows you. You know, the different labels, the name of the company. He shows you what you can expect to sell it for on the low end, the medium end, the high end, what to buy. This particular company, he says, buy everything you can find from them. What to avoid, nothing. Level of difficulty is hard. The buyer demand is nine. The risk is low. And the jackpot on this one is a leather jacket, embroidered long sleeve shorts. So, I mean, it's, guys, it's definitely worth it. I think it was $19.95. Uh, you know, invest in yourself. Now also, uh, so that was Rake and Profit. Make sure you follow him. And then this guy here is Bonafide Hustler. And he's got a new book out that I also purchased <clears throat> that's called uh, Flip That SH uh, Exclamation Mark T. And that's exactly how it is on the cover. Uh, so it's pretty cool. I can't wait. It ought to be here this week. I bought that off Amazon. So anyway, guys, become a student. Okay, so part of my haul for garage selling on Saturday is right here in front. A bunch of smalls. I did buy a bike uh, for 15 that uh, is not like a collector bike or a big name bike or whatever. I'm actually uh, got it listed up on Craigslist for 75. And if I can get 50, you know, 45, 50 dollars out, I'll be happy about that. Uh, something a little bigger that I did buy and I just got a, I just got a, a message about was this uh, golf cover travel bag that you put your golf clubs in somebody just messaged me on that so that might be getting sold I listed it for 70 or 75 dollars paid 15 uh, the bike I paid 15 for so right there guys I left the house with a hundred dollars in my pocket that was thirty dollars spent and if I even get fifty dollars a piece for both those there's my money back and everything else is gravy but then I found a lot of smalls I found a place that was just uh, wow uh, just had a bunch of smalls here and let me tell you one of the fun things that I found that I enjoy doing is coming back and looking up the final sell prices of these items to see what I got and you know I was pretty amazed at some of it like this little owl here I think it was the smaller one uh, was on online for like 25 to 35 dollars sold uh, now here's something else and and by what I'm learning by watching these guys's videos is different things to look out for you know Something right here that I've already listed off of this stuff is this right here. And you'd say, Jim, why would you just buy that? Well, number one, I watched a video where a couple came out of a thrift store with all these appliances and half of them didn't work, but they part them out. 
I purchased this medium shredding, fine shredding KitchenAid blade for $1. Its final sale on eBay was anywhere from $13.50 to $15.50. So, you know, anytime you can make 13 or 15 times your money, I say that that's a, that's a clue. So the rest of these things, these are all things that I've actually listed already. This mug was by uh, Michelle Company. I looked that up. It was selling, you know, I think it was 25 cents or 50 cents. It's anywhere from 12.50, uh, maybe a little bit higher. This little Linux vase, I think I paid a buck or two for that. The Linux vase, I talked them down. I think they were asking three or four. And that's selling anywhere from $19.95 to $25.95 on eBay. Uh, I believe I looked this up too. This is one of those little Norman Rockwell figurines. Uh, copyright 1973, Saturday Evening Post. And I think it says Dave Grossman uh, Designs. No swimming is the thing on that one. Uh, you know, so I looked all these up, uh, except for the little tin. I don't believe I've listed that these tins yet. I just got these because I thought they were cool. And then one of the things I really like is antique looking stuff and something that anybody took time to make. And this is an old cowbell right here. It doesn't have the clanger in it, okay? But someone hand-painted that on there. It says Petunia with the cow and the flowers, and then it's kind of signed down there. I think I got that for a buck. Uh, right here, I could kind of see right off the bat that that was kind of good looking. It's a little talc tin, T-A-L-C tin. I looked that up, very surprising also. Probably anywhere from, I think I paid a buck for it, anywhere from $12.50 to uh, over $48. So uh, this one here, I would say for the age that it probably is, uh, it's, you know, could be anywhere in the middle there. I'm $19.95 to $25. So anyway, those are things I've listed already off what I got. And some more of the smalls over here that haven't been listed yet. I found this little Harry Potter thing. It looks like something that maybe if they were doing a promotion with Burger King or something like that, that uh, uh, you know that they would give away Burger King, McDonald's when they do those movie promotions. A uh, little plastic. I uh, couldn't find anything on it, but uh, I know the three-headed dog or whatever is one of the key deals in that show, I guess. So picked that up for like quarter or fifty cents. So. I got the little item here. It's like one of those little paperweights. It says, Mom, I love you. You know, we got Mother's Day coming up. And something else that I learned from watching the videos, of course, and if you if your if your eyes are open and your ears are open, you're you know that religious stuff is real popular right now. Uh, this isn't really religious. This is Saturday evening post, but these three, these two are the Lord's Prayer, Lord's Prayer, this is the the Last Supper. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, the little Noah's Ark deal. That's a little, uh, like jewelry case or something. It clicks open and I thought, oh, that'd be nice for a, you know, little girl's dresser or something like that. Uh, and then the angels are just beautiful. There's nothing wrong. I mean, they're clean. There's no scratches. Uh, all the stones that are supposed to be there are there. And all this stuff, guys, was like a dollar, two dollars, 25, 50 cents. Uh, this little guy, I liked him too. I always like if it's any of the collectible things. Look, they had $3 on there. I don't know if I paid 3 or 2 but uh, perfect shape. Didn't get the boxes for it. Of course, if you can ever get the boxes and get that kind of money, then, then it's going to be worth a lot more, but I don't have the boxes for any of it. The cows here, that was surprising too, although I know they're very collectible, very popular. This one here is called uh, The Puzzled. That one was uh, final sale anywhere from twelve fifty to like twenty one fifty, and the patchwork one here, uh, which I haven't showed my wife yet, and she'll probably want it if I do, uh, was from like fifteen to, gosh, over thirty forty dollars. So that's pretty surprising. And you know, even if I don't have the box, I should still. Even if I get half of that, I only paid. She was asking four dollars a piece for those. I got them for two dollars a piece, and the little clown here. I played with it long enough and looked at it long enough to where she took it out of my hand and said, here, you can have that. That thing's creeping me out. So I got that free. That's 100% profit right there. Uh, got these little brushes. They kind of looked vintage to antique for me. So I picked those up. Someone kind of put the little string around them, so they had them hanging on the wall. A lot of this stuff was her mom's stuff. I guess it was kind of an estate sale that they were having. Uh, but So anyway, that's that there. Then coming back here to the, the bed... I found this shirt, and by listening to uh, Bonafide Hustler, now this isn't so much a Western shirt. This is kind of a 
fashion shirt, but he's always talking about the snap, you know, pearl snaps. And I was in the Western wear business for almost 20 years here in Dallas uh, area for several different companies. So I know what pearl snaps are all about. This one here, I liked it because of the, the design, but it's got the, it's got the patches all over it, some kind of racing team. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Very, very clean. Nice little shirt. Uh, got the stopwatch there for probably a buck. I think these headphones were like two bucks. I got the cross uh, for a dollar. Gave that to my daughter. She looked at it last night, but they're moving, so she's just going to leave it here. Uh, I got the little cars rolling duffel bag there. I'm either going to sell it or give it to my grandson that loves cars. It's very, very clean inside and out. I paid three bucks for that. Uh, the little Disney socks. There was a cars one and the Minnie Mouse. Uh, I think a dollar a piece for those. There's the little Pokemon duffel bag and then the November Barbie, which was just a couple dollars. I talked him down a couple dollars off of that. So anyway, guys, uh, that's it. I wanted to do this and just let you know, become a student. You watch these guys. It opens your eyes up what to look for. And, you know, there's some things I passed up and then I came home the other night and watched a couple videos and there and these guys had bought those I passed up at our very first stop uh, my son was with me our very first stop I passed up two Banana Republic men's black leather jackets uh, sport coat style that were very clean fifteen dollars a piece but when we looked them up they were really only selling for like twenty five to forty five and yeah I just didn't want to blow all my money right off the bat I kinda kicked myself after that but, you know, black leather, if it's Harley Davidson, it would have been a no-brainer. I would have bought it up in a second. Uh, something else, I passed on a couple, like, a USB blood monitor in the box sealed. Another monitor, like a regular style one. The guy wanted like a buck or two a piece that was sealed in the box. And I just didn't know enough about him. Well, then I come home and I hear, you know, someone that was with a Bonafide Hustler had made, you know, went to a garage sale with him and, and they bought one. So anyway, that's the way you do it. You live and learn. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Fired Up Picker. Hope that helps. Just become a student. Apply yourself. I mean, I watch these videos for these guys every day, and, uh, you know, I've set my goals. Rankin talks, you know, Rick of Profit talks, Steve talks a lot about setting your goals and having a plan of action and doing all that stuff. And I've got that right here on my, right over here on my board. So, uh, you know, that's, uh, that's what I'm looking towards. I've only been uh, back doing this about three weeks, but I'm, I'm, going real solid in it and 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 real excited about what's going on so hey guys keep flipping it making that money and this is fired up picker thanks for watching